What's up, peeps? Vu's Views here. Today's video is a topic suggestion from one of my followers, and it is about self-worth. It's actually a video that they asked me to do for the fellas, but really this applies to everybody. But since they requested it specifically for the fellas, that's who I'm going to dedicate this video to today. So what I find with men in my interactions, in my personal experience with men is self-worth is a big issue, just like it is for women. Men are constantly being put to the test as far as their self-worth. If they don't make a certain amount of income, you know, when they were kids playing sports, if they didn't win certain games, um, if they weren't the best athlete, if they didn't bring the trophy home, if they didn't bring the best looking girl home, men are constantly being tested. So I believe a lot of men have been programmed since the time they were boys that their self-worth is tied into the income they make, the title that they have, the cars that they drive, the home, um, you know, they're constantly being beat down that, you know, they need to be providers. Everything leads back to your self-worth and how successful your relationships will be. If you're finding that you are not having success in relationships, and I'm not just talking about romantic relationships, I'm talking about friendships, work relationships, every type of relationship you can possibly think of, it all ties back to your self-worth. If you are willing to put up with a job where your boss is nasty and rude to you, it goes back to your self-worth and you feeling like you can't do anything better. Basically what I'm trying to say in a nutshell is everything that you settle for, knowing that you actually deserve more is tied into your self-worth. Self, Your self-worth controls everything. You are working above and beyond and you know that they're not paying you your worth, that's because you feel like you can't do better. If you're in a relationship where they are emotionally, physically, mentally abusive towards you, it ties back into your self-worth. You know you feel like you have self-worth when you are no longer willing to just put up with anybody's fucking bullshit. And you can say, you know what, if I walk away, I'll be just fine. And the root cause of people not having self-worth usually ties back into their childhood. Their parents may have compared them to somebody else. From the time they were a child, the person that was supposed to approve of them, love them, and protect them constantly criticized them or compared them to other people, constantly making them feel like them themselves was not enough. But I'm here to tell you that you are enough. You alone are enough, and you have to get strong enough to where you are willing to walk away from situations. Everything that's happening to you is happening to test your self-worth. Every single experience, whether someone's cheating on you, whether you have a boss that's trying to lowball your pay, um, whatever experience that you're dealing with in life, just know if it's a tough experience, if it's a challenging experience, it's for your highest and greatest good to grow you, to get you to look at your self-worth. The people are, are that are showing up and challenging you, it has nothing to do with them. It has everything to do with you and testing you and what you are willing to tolerate and not tolerate. Until you know your self-worth, you will continue to settle for less than you deserve. And that's just the bottom line. So when situations show up, that's a test for you to look at your self-worth, okay? Always look at your self-worth, self-acceptance, the love that you have for yourself. What are you willing to put up with? Are, do you have women that are just treating you poorly and then you go and run and hide in a corner and now you're scared to come out and approach another woman? That has nothing to do with the women and how they're mistreating you. It has everything to do with your self-worth and what you believe you can get. If your self-worth is tied into a woman's rejection of you, if your self-worth is tied into how much you get paid, your homes, your cars, then you aren't worth very much. And I'm not saying that in a mean way. I'm saying that to say your self When you are able to walk away from a situation that's toxic, because you love yourself that deeply and you know you deserve better, regardless of it's a work situation or a romantic relationship. That's when you know you have reached a level of self-worthiness and confidence 
that a lot of people never get in this lifetime. So many people are trying to fit into society and what their boys think of them or what women think of them. And everyone that they're trying to impress is lost themselves. They haven't even figured it out their damn selves. So I love you guys. I hope this video helps. Just know that you are worthy just as you are. Okay, doesn't matter what your income is. It doesn't matter what material things you possess, but it doesn't matter if I say it, you have to believe it yourself. And until you believe it through and through, you will constantly be tested by the universe and the universe is going to continue to send you toxic people and toxic situations to continue to test you to see how far you have gone and how far you even how far how far you've come along and how far you've evolved in recognizing that all roads lead back to you every single situation and experience leads back to you and it's tied into what you feel about your self-worth all right that's all i got for today hope this helps somebody i love you guys make sure you subscribe to this damn video you're absorbing my content it doesn't cost you anything at least you could do subscribe you know i got a little kid at home i got mouths to feed help me out plus i got my own mouth to feed don't you want me to eat <laughs>